Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Brooke and today I'm going to be doing an Iggy Azalea makeup tutorial. I follow her on Instagram and she has been posting some bomb pictures lately so I want to try my best to recreate one of her looks. So I guess I don't really have a particular look in mind. I'm just going off what she has posted recently on Instagram and kind of what I'm used to as like classic Iggy. So if you're interested in the steps I take to accomplish that, then keep on watching. I'm going to be using my NYX Micro Pencil in Espresso. I'm going to stay lighter towards the front of the brow and get pretty heavy towards the tail just because I have no hair there. It helps me if I brush this down too so I can see exactly where I need to put that product. Her eyebrows are definitely lighter than my eyebrows, but this is all I got right now, so it is what it is. So what I'm going to do now is grab my concealer and start to sharpen and slim them down. Take an angled flat brush. I'm going to go in right to my eyebrow. I'm just going to blend that out with a wet sponge. I always want to call every single sponge a beauty blender. For primer, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Prime. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. So it's going to be my first time trying this. It's also in shade Medium Olive, which I don't know. I've been, I've been struggling finding my foundation match recently. Every foundation I get is off a little bit, so hopefully I found the right one. But Iggy's usually tanned up anyway, so if it's a little darker, it's fine. Usually I blend it out with a brush first, and then I go with the, not beauty blender, I go in with the sponge. Kind of helps sheer it out. I'm just gonna go right underneath my eyes and down my nose a little bit. Now I'm gonna bring this down my nose, but I'm gonna try to stay as thin as possible. And just spot conceal some areas and any beauty marks that I have so that I have a blank canvas. For contour, I wanted to keep with the NYX theme I got going on today, but I don't have any NYX contour. So I'm going to use my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. It's in shade Fawn. Take this right near my ear and go down my jawline. I'm also going to take this and go right in my crease and drag that up a little bit to help lift my eyes. Then I'll follow that all the way around my forehead. And then Iggy got them big old lips, so just gonna put a little shadow under mine to make them appear larger. Iggy's nose is pretty small. She's got like a cute little button nose, so we're just gonna snatch it up. And then to slim down the width of your nostrils, just put some contour right there on the sides. Then my last step is to draw a line. Just kind of creates a shadow and lifts your, the tip of your nose up to give it that button, cute button look. I want to brighten my face up a little bit without getting into the shimmery highlights just yet. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit and I'm just going to go in with that banana shade. The yellow in this is going to help brighten and bring forward parts of my face where I want to bring forward. I dropped some Farsali Unicorn Essence drops in here so that it's more blendable. And I'm just taking a flat foundation brush and really highlighting my cheekbone and under eye and taking it up here on the side of the nose is going to help contrast with the contour I put on my nose.
I'm gonna scrape off some of that extra product on the back of my hand and then very lightly just kind of pat right here against my jaw. Start to blend it out. I'm gonna go and blend out all the lighter shades first and then I'll go and do the contour after. One thing that helps me whenever I blend out my nose contour, usually I have really harsh lines that I'm trying to blend out and a sponge can sometimes pick up the product off the nose and then you have that unevenness. So what I do first is just kind of lightly take a synthetic blending brush and go over that. I feel like it's a more controlled way to blend out your nose contour. Now using a stippling brush, I'm just going to go in and lightly blend out my contour. Another helpful tip would be to bring all this product back. And then once it has softened, then you bring it back forward. I'm going to take the same brush I used for my foundation and just blend out my jawline. So for highlight, I'm going to use the KKW Cream Contour and Highlight Sticks in shade medium and I'm only going to use the shimmer highlight. The reason why I highlight right here too, when I turn, my face is going to catch the light and it's going to look really nice right above my arch. I'm also going to take this and highlight right under my brow bone and in the inner corner. And I notice she kind of highlights this too. She kind of goes up in there. Okay, so I'm going to set my makeup with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I love these sponges from Sephora just because this little piece is super helpful for this exact reason. It's putting translucent powder underneath the eye. For me, isn't it? And then I always make sure that I get my T-zone down my nose, some of the slips, and then my chin. So for the eyes, I'm just going to go in with a basic transition color. So I'm using my Dose of Colors Desi Katie palette. I'm just going to use Necessary. This shade right here is just the perfect transition shade for me. I need to stop using this palette, but I cannot. It's like I finally found the perfect transition shade, and thank you, Desi, thank you, Katie. I'm gonna start on the outer corner, and then work my way in. I wipe off this powder now so I don't get too dry. So now I'm gonna switch over to my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I'm just gonna put Truffled right into my crease. I like to start at the end of my eye and then leave my eye open until I kind of create a shape that I can follow with my eyes closed because sometimes it is really hard to find exactly where the dark shades can go into this crease. I'm going back in with Necessary, but on the brush I use for the darker shade and just smoking this out a little bit more. I don't want it as dark as the crease. Okay, now I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of just fan that out. And this is a really pretty light shimmery shade. Start in the inner corner, kind of press that down, taking it into the center of the lip. It looks like she's pretty soft in her eye makeup, so I'm trying really hard not to go heavy. I'm gonna take coconut cream in that palette and just take my finger and press it right into the center. It's more, it's just like a matte bone color. I just wanna open up my eyes a little bit. I'm just gonna put that right under my arch. Okay, now I'm going in with my NYX Vinyl liner. Vinyl. Nice. wings are done, I'm just going to take truffle again and smudge it into my lower lash line. Going in with my Kiss Lashes, these are the 
Cage Boy Blowout Lashes. These lashes are awesome. I think these are better than like the Ardell Wispies that everybody gets. These are like so natural, but they give you that like beautiful scoop. I love it. What I'm gonna do is measure them on my eye and then find where I want to trim them. But I'm actually gonna cut a good amount of the lash off so that the length is on the end and you get that nice like winged out effect with the lashes too. This is the length that they're at now. I'm gonna use my Kiss Lash Glue and I'm gonna put those on. My best tip for applying lashes is wait like 30 seconds, count to 30, wait it out, don't rush, because as soon as it gets time to sit, it gets tacky and you can literally just place it on and then readjust without having it actually like slide across your eyeshadow or ruin whatever. The piece that I actually cut off originally it just is too perfect, so I'm going to stack that and put that on the end of my lashes also. For mascara, I'm going to use NYX Doll Eye, and I'm going to focus putting this at the base to the middle of the lashes. I try really hard not to touch the tips because then you start to get that chunky look and that makes it look less real. So. Now I'm taking NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cashmere, filling it in that waterline just to brighten it up. This is more of like a shimmery nude shade. I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush and just warm up my face, pretty much the same place as where I contoured. So next I'm gonna go in with my Luxme Lip Balm. I'm using a NYX lip liner and nectar. We are definitely gonna be overlining. Okay, so I'm going in with NYX Butter Gloss in shade Madeline. This is my show back in the day. With my micro brow pencil, I'm gonna create the moles that she has. I think she has the chin mole on her left side and then the one up here on her right side. So I'm gonna throw on the Lani highlighter. I think the name of it is Day Glow. And last but not least, we're going in with NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. This thing right here. If you don't have one, you should get one. This helps me with everything. It helps me dry my lash glue. It helps me dry my eyeliner so I don't like look up and have the eyeliner above or on my crease. This helps me out so much, especially with setting spray. This fan kind of softens the blow with some setting sprays because sometimes setting sprays kind of just like squirt out at you and then you get those little bubbles all over your face that don't go away and you can't blend back out so this just like ensures that everything is going to get spritzed pretty gently. All right the cap's on now let me throw the wig on. This is not a bad wig for Amazon by the way. It's really good for a cheap wig. I think it was like 20 bucks actually or somewhere around that price range. So that's it. This is my finished Iggy Azalea makeup look. I hope I look close to her. <laughs> you can leave a comment below if you think I do look like her, if I was close enough, or if I don't. This is definitely a different style video that I am doing here today. I typically film different makeup looks and edit them down and speed them up so it's quicker and right to the point. If this is something you enjoy, definitely let me know. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for watching.